going on guys? I hope you are doing well. We are back on another reaction, but a brand new reaction, an actual different type of reaction onto the series. Today we are reacting to Apple's most expensive, most recent launch of technology. Yes, we are reacting today to the new 2018 MacBook Pro release specifications it's apparently got a faster processor a new keyboard and more so without further ado before we get into this smash that like button and let me know what your favorite apple products are in the comments and i will let you know my favorite product of apple is the ipad mini 4 that is my favorite apple ipod i apple i product get that one right <laughs> and if you are new here subscribe because that would mean a hell of a lot to me let's get growing on this journey so without further ado let's react so here we go guys the first look at the 2018 macbook pro this is a quick unboxing and let's just see what this has to offer this is my initial reaction. Here we go. Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolo Tech, and this is the 2018 MacBook Pro. I was able to find one in my local Apple store today, and this is the top of the line model, except for that really expensive SSD. So let's take a look at the specs. So this is the 15 inch, like I said, it's the 2.9 gigahertz, six core, core i9, with 12 megabytes of shared L3 cache, 32 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM, one terabyte SSD, and the Radeon Pro with of RAM. It also has True Tone. It has that internal, built-in Intel UHD graphics as well, just like all of the 15 inches do. And then the Thunderbolt port. So let's take a look at it. Let's look at <laughs> the packaging here. I just love the packaging. I really do. Like, it's so nice when you open something and you go, when you open it. Now, what I normally edit with is a 2017 inch version, so we'll see how they actually compare in different videos just to see what they are as far as specs are concerned and how they actually compare speed wise. Let's go ahead and open this up. Set that aside. And this is the Space Gray version. Like I, I don't said, like Space here's Gray. The back itself. I'll set this aside for just a moment. And you'll see we have a USB C cable. It's just like what we had before. And under here, we've got some literature. Let's take a look at this. See if there's anything literature. new. Literature. So seriously, who says that? Isn't that like book letter? Instructions. Or instructions. We have the stickers. <laughs> okay. We've got our power brick. Now, supposedly these, these may be a little bit different, like different internally. I'm not sure yet. Let's see if we can slide this out here. Let's open this up. Take it out. And <clears throat> that's it. So let's set this aside and take a look at the MacBook. So we'll flip it over here. Not literally flip it, turn it. We don't want to break it. Oh, I love peeling that off. Those are like when you get a new phone. Are you getting you anything and you're um, peeling it off, which is so it's nice. space gray, like I said, and I just nice think that's clean. way too dark. Sure and well, we're not looking at the core, look at the product. USB C or Thunderbolt 3, four of those, and then a headphone jack. Oh, so, ooh. And on this side, that's nice. I've got, I've got, got two. On the back here. I've got two of them. Now, these keys are supposed to be quieter, so. and these particular keys uh, also have a protective wrapping around them to prevent dust from getting in. Very the nice. The trackpad looks pretty much the same, and you've got your touch, your fingerprint sensor or touch ID, and then also True Tone, the T2 chip, and also Hey Siri is integrated into this. Hey Siri! Let's go ahead and set it up. 
So the MacBook setup, I transferred everything from the older MacBook to this one, and I'll try it out and do a review after I've used it for a little while. But if you take a look at this display, it's a little bit different, although you may not be able to see it in this light. It's got true tone. Also, the battery is a little bit bigger to compensate for the 32 gigabytes of RAM that this one has, since Ooh. that takes a little bit more power, as does true tone. So they still say it gets the same amount of power, but the battery is a little bigger to help. Okay guys, so that was a very basic unboxing. So he's got the 15 inch. Now let's just see. Let's just see exactly how much this guy paid and how much it, he got put back by. You can everyone pay single MacBook Pro. He had the 15 inch. 2018. We'll put specs. Now let's do a bit of shopping. So here, he had the space grey one. This is ridiculous. He's just gone and paid 16. He had 32 RAM. So he's just gone and paid. A nice grand total. So here we go. He has the 15 inch MacBook Pro 2008. You could literally die at that price, I swear. So he has just paid anything between 2349 Well, that's silver. Space Grey is dearer for some reason, which I don't think Space Grey is that nice. But he's just paid around £2,699 for the Space Grey 32GB RAM. 15.4 inch diagonally LED backlight display. Wow. So it's 2.2, 2 2.6 gigahertz it's got. Um, and then there, storage, 512 gigabyte. He's got the 32 gig, comparable to 32 memory, so he's got that one. This is ridiculous, charging and expansion. Four Thunderbolt 3. Yeah, I've only got two and really don't even use them both at the same time unless there's a reason behind it. I literally only use one at a time, so I'm really confused in why you would need four Thunderbolt 3 charging USB ports, but there you go. Um, so yeah, it's got that. It's keyboard and track pack, which is nice. Like, it's got the touch bar here, which... I don't have, I've got the air, but I don't care. Oh, I'm a poet and don't know it. I was not paying the pro price for something that I probably never use or never want to get used to using being a touch, what is it, touch screen. And um, I really don't want to do that. Like, I'm fine with all the other devices being touch screen, but I think literally a laptop or a MacBook or a computer is just OTT on it being touch screen and it might even be the way technology is going and progressing but it's not for me like right now anyways i just i'm fine with what i'm using so up to 10 hours wireless web which is pretty good 30 days of standby time okay so it's a pretty powerful battery it's got operating requirements um, and then and then so that's okay. Size, so it's height 1.55 centimeters, which is not even an inch. Width is 13.75 inches. Depth is 9.48 inches. And weight, it only weighs less than two kilograms. So that is light. Um, and built-in apps where they're standard. I've got all them. I think everyone would have all them. Wow, I, I can't, I 100% I cannot justify, especially for a laptop, which 
for the Carbonate MacBook. I cannot justify for a MacBook paying that much. What the difference is between two inches is really not, it's not worth it because the screen it's just like you can see the screen on whether you go for the 13 inch or whether you go for the 15 inch like it's I say you went for an 11 inch screen which I think they do but in an older version that I can understand why you know it'd be a little bit silly to go that small but 13 inches on a nice MacBook Air or MacBook Pro screen is just perfectly fine like I would not even bother clicking on 15 let's see how much the 13 one is so there we go so basically the price ranges from 1249 to 1949 now I think anything in this region is reasonable but when you're clicking on something like just for the extra two inches there and maybe a little bit more features that you might not even necessarily need and then click back on that one and there the features on the 13 inch like is it is it 100% necessary in my opinion I, I don't think it is necessary at all I, I really don't personally I would probably if I were to get not that I am at all but in my honest opinion, I'd personally go for the second one up because with that you get your 250 gig, you get your convertible to up to a terabyte from the 512 gig, which is absolutely amazing. But like you said, um, I saw someone else say that you still, and it's configurable up to 16 gigabyte of memory. These ones, um, 15 inch is 16 gigabyte convertible up to 32 memory which is fine like unless you've got a load a load a load of stuff storage wise on here you don't need all that because that's why you get um external storage device for storing all videos etc which is obviously the most common thing that you would do but even if you was editing more than two or three videos, unless they're really <laughs> high gigabytes worth of video footage, you're not going to need it. You're honestly, honestly, truly not going to need it, depending on what it is you're actually filming, obviously. But I don't, I just think it's a bit OTT. I honestly do. Um, that, that is my personal opinion. But if you want to let me know what your personal opinion is, let, let me know in the comments um, because I would really like to know what your perspective on this. Do you think the Pro is too much? I personally think it's too much. I mean, I could have a little massive rant about technology, but I think I'm going to leave that for another day. I, I, I probably will start a new series on Sam rants or something like that, or Sam's opinion or something like that. Yeah. Probably, probably Sam rants, something along those lines. If you want me to do that about technology in general, oh my God, you're going to be in for a treat. So smash that like button. And like I said, let me know what you think. Which one would you go for? Which one do you think is better? And of course, if you are new here and you've never seen my face before, you need to do subscribe if you are new. That would mean a hell of a lot to me, guys. And yeah, this is my first look at the unboxing and review of the specifications. So, there we go. And I shall catch you later, alligator. In a while, crocodile. I knew on the Sam's React series, uh, there we go, a brand new technology, all unboxed and reviewed, just for you guys. Let me know what you think to this in the comments, and of course, subscribe if you're new.